Hey, Bubba Pollard, how uh, satisfying was that? He got like seven looks at you and you held him off every time. Well, it, it, it's pretty good when when uh, you got, it, you lined up there 20 to go. He's in second, I'm done. You know, he's got tires. Um, it just shows you what kind of race car we had. Um, we had a car capable of winning and I just had to drive my ass off. Um, I couldn't give him any inch and the uh, last 20 laps, I, I had that's all I had. So. Uh, I just can't thank everybody enough that's put this deal together. Phoenix, uh, Terry, Seneca, um, Brandon Ernest, Ernest Performance, um, Race Car Engineering, CERT, Motorsports. I mean, just everybody that's on the side of this race car is stuck behind me through some tough times and, and know we're capable of winning, so it's pretty cool. Especially. You had some concern over longevity, long, long run speed. Jake would get you on the restarts and you came back. What was the one thing you had to overcome to get the car that way? Well, we didn't do anything. Uh, I just didn't know, we've never run this thing. So I didn't know if it was gonna last, get tight, get free. I had no idea. Um, but um, I kind of fell back there, let him go, and kind of just see where he was beating me, where I was beating him, kind of just kind of play some strategy into, the, into it a little bit. Um, and know for later if I needed to. Um, but we didn't make any adjustments on it all day. Uh, we let a little air out of the left front tire and let her eat. So um, she was good uh, from lap one to, to lap 150 there. It's, it stayed the same, and that's, that's all you can ask for in a race car. What was the key in three and four to be able to get that drive off and, and hold them there? I had good drive all day. Um, I really could I really could beat him up off the corner. They were telling me where he was beating me and where I was beating them. I could turn better than them. Um, they were tight, um, especially when he picked up a throttle and he get free off. So um, they were kind of letting me know what was going on. And I know if I could keep him pinched down in three and four and kind of run the middle of the racetrack right there, he couldn't get under me because he couldn't get off the corner. So I knew, and, and then I was beating him through one and two. So I knew if, as long as I, didn't, I hit my marks and, and did what I was supposed to, I knew he couldn't pass me. I knew he could rough me up, but <laughs> I, didn't know, uh, I didn't think he could pass me. Is that a testament to the kind of driver he is, the way he raced you? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I mean, it is. Um, I thought we raced good all day, uh, I, and I appreciate it because he could have roughed me up um, many times, uh, for sure, and he, and he didn't. So I appreciate that, and uh, when, you, when you race people like that, you show, it shows respect, and, and one day I'll return the favor. So um, you, 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 you want to be, you want to race people how you want to be raced and, and get treated the same and, and just get the respect back. And, and uh, racing like that can go a long ways racing in the future. You guys were pushing water a little bit first half. What did y'all do to fix that? Well, it's kind of a different deal. Not knowing the car, it's a different deal than what we're accustomed to uh, on our cars. And we didn't know. So, um, it pushed water. I was watching everything. That that led us to pit a little early because um, we had to put a bunch of water in it, and uh, we changed the system there and plugged it also and spent no water and run hot. But it, it was never running hot. It was just pushing water, so uh, it was a pressure deal. So um, we kind of rigged it up a little bit there at the break so it wouldn't push water. If it did, we didn't care. Was that kind of a catch-22 to where the, it got you to track position? Maybe that doesn't win you the race, right? Yeah, you you never know. I mean, we could have. We had a good enough car to win the race. It's just you get stuck back there. Something happened. We take tire or old versus new. You just never know. Track position. I mean, it's key. Everything. Every everything has to work out and 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 just perfect to win races. And and luckily it did today. Corey Heim, uh, you got a lot of looks at uh, Bubba there. Was it just a matter of needing a couple more heat cycles maybe to get the car turning a little better? Uh, I think it's just a matter of he, he was just better today as a whole as a driver. Um, you know, he just probably got his car a little bit better throughout the weekend, and uh, that's on me to kind of make the necessary adjustments to how the weather's going to be. Uh, I didn't really intend on the track rubbering up as much as it did, so um, that's kind of on me to you know intend for that and set up for that when you know kind of set up for looser conditions. We were a little bit too tight, so um, yeah, didn't quite have it today. Uh, I think with the tires, I really thought we were, we had it won pretty much at the end there. Uh, just based on how much better we were than everyone else, but I think that's above and it's just a whole other level of speed. So, um, you know, me, him, and the 35 just seem to be kind of set apart from the field, but uh, Bubba was definitely a, a tier better than everyone today. Is it kind of a no win scenario coming to that last comp caution where the tires are there and you kind of want them, but also you lose the track position, you know you're going to get tighter too? Is it kind of a no win scenario? 
Not necessarily. I mean, generally speaking, if you're even, I would I would take the tires over track position here, um, especially 50 laps worth of tires and your left sides are so damaged that the right sides are going to kind of carry you through the, through the field. And um, I think that was pretty clear that they were better just by, by how fast they got by everyone else. But, um, you know, clearly I think the 26 was a little better as a driver and as a car today. And, um, you know, our, our Wilson Motorsports uh, number 20 was, was really good. I mean, huge thank you to Toyota Racing for everything they do to uh, let me come out and do this, but I uh, just didn't quite have it today. Is there anything you could do in hindsight? I mean, you had seven chances at it, right, in three and four to prevent him from getting that drive off? Uh, on the racetrack, not necessarily. I think just kind of going back to practice, I think just setting up for these conditions a little better on my end and uh, giving better feedback would be probably the key there. But um, just, you know, like I said, just huge thank Toyota Racing, Wilson Motorsports. Wouldn't be here without him today, and um, better luck next time. Man, what more did you need there late in the race? Uh, just a little bit everywhere there, a little bit of track position would have helped, you know. I mean, me, Bubba, and Corey, I felt like we're all pretty pretty equal at the end, you know. But um, all in all, a really good run. I thought we improved on some things this weekend, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, be better, uh, you know, even better in the future. But um, just got to thank RPM Trailer Sales, Expo Homes, RaceChoice.com, and Will with Disc Brakes, all I do. You had a great battle there with Bubba the first half or so of the race. Does him getting that track position over you at the halfway before taking tires, did in hindsight that kind of make the difference? Well, no, it was just more, uh, you know, we pitted after him, so we had to be behind him, you know, and the cautions coming out there one after the other at the end probably helped him get his tires cooled. But um, either way, he, he seemed to be a good bit faster than us throughout the entire race. And so, um, yeah, I think that was just kind of the difference. He did a really good job, uh, you know, keeping his stuff good to where when he did have older tires, he could hold us off at the end. You've got a lot of racing ahead of you, but on the late model side, what is on the schedule around your uh, NASCAR schedule? Uh, we don't really have a, a definitive schedule yet, but I'd like to run as much as I can, you know, and uh, probably, preferably in the big races, you know, and um, even some of the smaller ones as well. Just wherever my schedule allows, I'd like to run as much as possible. All right, uh, P4 uh, had tires there at the end. I imagine it just got you too tight. Yeah, well, I was on the same sequence as Bubba there. Uh, we we pitted on that caution right before lap 100, and I forget exactly what lap it was. But uh, anyway, we, uh, you know, for the first segment of the race, we were, you know, just rolling tight center. Sorry, though. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we were just rolling tight, you know, rolling the center and, and – um, Actually, a little bit throttle tight, so we we uh, were just trying to buy our time, you know, for waiting for the pit stop, and made some good adjustments. I thought when we fired off there, I was like, man, this thing's actually going to be pretty good, and, and it went tight on me again. So uh, I just had to start moving around and figure out where it liked it, you know. So I started running the high groove and and made up a little ground, and um, just just wasn't good enough there towards the end. How much did you enjoy the entire experience of doing this? And you've done it before, but it kind of in a marquee race where it was planned. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's anytime you get out there and kind of dice it up. You know, we weren't dicing it up. You know, where we needed to be at the front of the field, uh, one and two. But um, you know, anytime you can come get a top top four finish uh, with with a ill hand on the race car. We'll, you know, we'll take that all day long. Just uh, we'll come back better next time. We'll you go to work, are. and uh, you know, we don't give up. You guys doing New Smyrna together? Yeah, yeah. We're going to do Speed Weeks, and then that first Pensacola race is so far is what we got planned. They've got a lot of experience there, and you've got a good amount of experience too. So is that a, a good opportunity? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, any any race we go to is going to be a good opportunity to to be in contention for a win. So um, we just. Uh, I got to communicate with with Anthony a little better in practice. Um, you know, I, I thought I did, you know, not a terrible job, but I could have done better in practice, maybe on some adjustments uh, for the car to, to be a little better today. You're in the mix there for a good bit today. The last couple of runs have just kind of faded. What happened? Yeah, we just, uh, I just not giving good feedback. I don't think in these cars. I just um gotta gotta work on that. But uh, yeah, we were way too tight the first the first 70 laps or so. Burned the right front up and had to pit there. I felt like to to have any shot. And um, once we did pit, we were okay. Uh, we just had to start at the tail because of the 
you know, being a lap late to get back on track. But, um, yeah, overall, just, just need to, you know, work on what I need at some of these flatter places. feel like I was way too tight to start the race. We made one change overnight, and I think I just led us the wrong way. So, um, work on that for the next one. Is there something to be said about this place being so unique and just, it's, it's, it's not an easy place to get your head around, right? No, it's not. It's, uh, it's really difficult. It's, it's, um, really flat. So, yeah, everything's kind of lightly loaded and uh, hard to hard to do much. It's a finesse place, so you just gotta kind of take what the car gives you. And um, thought we did okay at that, but definitely didn't save enough tire uh, when I was struggling. So just gotta work on that. What's next on the uh, late model side? I'm gonna run New Smyrna, and then uh, we just gotta see after that. We got some things to work out, but hopefully, uh, hopefully keep running. I love these cars. I feel like that it makes me better. Obviously, we haven't won in a while, so it, it kind of stings, but we gotta gotta keep working and hopefully get better.